So let us look Solomon. And this will have to be in two parts, I think, at least. There are so many prayers in this book, but not with the one that you start when you enter the circle that I'm showing up on the screen. When we enter herein with all humility, let God, the Almighty One, enter into this circle by the entrance of an eternal happiness, of a divine prosperity, of a perfect joy, of an abundant charity, and of all eternal salutation. Let all the demons fly from this place, especially those who are opposed unto this work, and let the angels of peace assist and protect this circle, from which let discord and strife fly and depart. Magnify and extend upon us, O Lord, thy most holy name, and bless our conversation and our assembly. Sanctify, O Lord, our God, our humble entry herein, thou the blessed and holy one of the eternal ages. Amen. And then you go down to your knees and you say the following prayer. Oops. O Lord God, all-powerful and all-merciful, thou who desirest not the death of a sinner, but rather that he may turn from his wickedness and live, give and grant unto us thy grace by blessing and consecrating this earth and this circle, which is here marked out with the most powerful and holy names of God. And thee I conjure, O earth, by the most holy name of Asher Eheye, entering within this circle, composed and made with mine hand. And may God, even Adonai, bless this place with all the virtues of heaven, so that no obscene or unclean spirit may have the power to enter into this circle, or to annoy any person who is therein. Though the Lord God Adonai, who liveth eternally unto the ages of the ages, Amen. I beseech thee, O Lord, the all-powerful and the all-merciful, that thou wilt de deign to bless this circle and all this place, and all those who are therein, and that thou wilt grant unto us who serve thee, I rehearse nothing but the wonders of thy law. A good angel for our guardian, remove from us every adverse power, preserve us from evil and from trouble. Grant, O Lord, that we may rest in this place in all safety through thee, O Lord, who livest and reignest unto the ages of the ages. Amen. Um. And then, after further preparations, you start the conjuration that goes like this. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come unto thee. O Lord God Almighty, who has reigned before the beginning of the ages, and who by thy infinite wisdom has created the heavens, the earth, and the sea, and all that in them is, all that is visible, and all that is invisible by a single word. I praise thee, I bless thee, I adore thee, I glorify thee, and I pray thee now at the present time to be merciful unto me, a miserable sinner, for I am the work of thine hands. Save me and direct me, though to whom nothing is difficult, nothing is impossible, deliver me from the night of mine ignorance and enable me to go forth, therefore. Enlighten me with a spark of thine infinite wisdom. Take away my senses of desire of covetousness and iniquity of mine idle words. Give unto me, thy servant, a wise understanding, penetrating and subtle heart, to acquire and comprehend all signals. Give unto me capacity to hear, and strength of memory to retain them, so that I may be able to accomplish my desires, 
and understand and learn all difficult and desirable sciences and also that I may be able to comprehend the hidden secrets of the holy writings. Give me the virtue to conceive them, so that I may be able to bring forth and pronounce my words with patience and humility, for the instructions of others as thou hast ordered me. O God the Father, all-powerful and merciful, who has created all things, who knowest and conceivest them universally, and to whom nothing is hidden, nothing is impossible. I entreat thy grace for me and for thy servants, because thou seest and knowest we all well that we perform not this work to tempt thy strength and thy power, as if in doubt thereof, but rather that we may know and understand the truth of all hidden things. I beseech thee to have the kindness to be favourable unto us, thy splendour, thy magnificence, and thy holiness, and by thy holy, terrible, and ineffable name, Ea, at, at which the whole world doth tremble, and by the fear with all creatures obey thee. <clears throat> Grant, O Lord, that we may become responsive unto thy grace, so that though we may have a full confidence in, in and knowledge of thee, and that the spirits may discover themselves here in our presence, and that those which are gentle and peaceable may come unto us, so that they may be obedient unto thy commands. Through thee, O most holy Adonai, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and whose empire endureth to the ages of the ages. Amen. And now you rise, <coughs> and then the, some preparations, and then after turning to the four quarters of the universe shall say, O Lord, be thou unto me a tower of strength against the appearance and assault of the evil spirit. And then he says uh, to the quarters again, There be the symbols and names of the creature which can bring terror and fear unto you. Obey me then, and by the power of these holy names, and by these mysterious symbols and secrets of secrets. And then you draw them and do all the things that are usual. But now we come into the confession. That is an important part of all, uh, old magic. O Lord of heaven and earth, before thee do I confess my sins and lament them. Cast down and humbled in thy presence. For I have sinned before thee by pride, avarice, and boundless desires of honours and riches, by idleness, gluttony, greed, debauchery, and drunkenness, because I have offended thee by all kinds of sins of the flesh, adulteries and pollutions, which I have committed myself and consented that others should commit, by sacrilege, thefts, rapine, violation, and homicide. By the evil use I have made my possessions my prodigality, by the sins which I have committed against hope and charity, by my evil advice, flatteries, bribes, and all the ill distribution which I have made of the goods of which I have been possessed, by repulsing and maltreating the poor, in distribution which have made of the goods committed to my charge, by affliction over those whom I have been set in authority, by not visiting the prisoners, by the depriving the dead of a burial, by not receiving the poor, by neither feeding the hungry nor giving drink to the thirsty, by never keeping the Sabbath and other feasts, by not living chastely and piously on those days, by the easy consents which I have given to those who incited me to evil deeds, by injuring instead of aiding those who demanded help from me, 
by refusing to give ear unto the cry of the poor, by not respecting the aged, by not keeping my word, by disobedience to my parents, by in by ingratitude uh, towards them, those from whom I have received kindness, by indulgence in sensual pleasures, by irreverent behavior in the temple of God, by unseemly gestures thereat, by entering therein without reverence, by vain and amorous, when thereby despising the sacred vessels of the temple, by turning the holy ceremonies into ridicule, by touching and eating the sacred bread with impure lips of a profane hands, and by the ne neglect of my prayers and adorations. I detest also the crimes which I have committed by evil thoughts, vain and impure meditations, false suspicions, a rash judgment, by the evil consents which I have readily given unto the advice of the wicked, by lust of all impure and sensual pleasures, by my idle words, my lies and my deceit, by my false woes in various ways, and my, by my continual slander and calumny. I detest also the crimes which I have committed within, the treachery and discord which I have incited, my curiosity, greed, false speaking, violence, malediction, murmurs, blasphemies, vain words, insults, dissimulations, my sins against God by the transgression of the Ten Commandments, by neglect of my duties and obligation, and by want of love towards God and toward my neighbor. Furthermore, I hate the sins which I have committed in all my senses, by sight, by hearing, by taste, by smell, by touch, in every way that human weakness can offend the Creator, by my carnal thoughts, deeds, and meditations, in which I humbly confess that I have sinned, and recognize myself as being in the sight of God the most criminal of all men. I accuse myself before thee, O God, and I adore thee with all humility. O ye holy angels and ye children of God, in your presence I publish my sins, that mine enemy may have no advantage over me, and may not be able to reproach me at last day, that he may not be able to say that I have concealed my sins, and that I be not then accused in the presence of the Lord, but on the contrary, that on my account there may be joy in heaven, as over the just who have confessed their sins by the, in thy presence. O most mighty and all-powerful Father, grant through thy, din, thy inbounded, unbounded mercy that I may both see and know all the spirits which I invoke, so me and by thine ineffable eternal glory. Thou who art and who wilt be forever the pure and ineffable Father of all. And then we have great humility here. And when you feel it in your heart, you will recite this following prayer. O Lord, all-powerful, eternal God and Father of all creatures, shed upon the divine influence of thy mercy. For I am thy creature, I beseech thee to defend me from mine enemies, and to confirm in me true and steadfast faith. O Lord, I commit my body and my soul unto thee, seeing I put my trust in none beside thee. It is on thee alone that I rely. O Lord my God, aid me. O Lord, hear me in the day and hour wherein I shall I invoke thee. I pray thee by thy mercy not to put me in oblivion nor remove me from thee. O Lord, be thou my succor, thou who art the God of my salvation. O Lord, make me a new heart according unto thy loving kindness. These, O Lord, are the gifts which I await from thee. 
O my God and my Master, Thou who livest and reignest unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God, the all-powerful one, who has formed unto thyself great and ineffable wisdom, and co-eternal with thyself before the countless ages, thou who in the birth of time has created heavens and the earth and the sea, and things that they contain, Do who hast vivified all things by the breath of thy mouth, I praise thee, I bless thee, I adore thee, I glorify thee. Be thou propitious unto me, who am but a miserable sinner, and despise me not, save me and suckle me, even me the work of thy hands. I conjure and entreat thee by thy holy name to banish from my spirit the darkness of ignorance and to enlighten me with the fire of thy wisdom. Take away <coughs> from me all, uh, all the ev uh, evil desires <coughs> and let not my speech be that of the foolish. O thou God, the living one, <coughs> whose glory, honor, and kingdom shall extend unto the ages of the ages. Amen. And then comes the prayers and conjurations in the next one. And what happened to me when I had difficult beliefs, they said that that is a demon trying to stop you from praying. And this is one of the most old books in the Christian and Judaic traditions that we know of. We have the Greek magical papyri, but uh, that is around over a thousand years older. That contains a little bit of everything. I love you all and have a magical, magical day. Bye for now.